View the following program in its entirety with Xfinity On Demand by selecting Get Local and choosing All HS Sports. For Xfinity X1 customers, scroll over to Xfinity Services and select Get Local. You're watching the Comcast Network. CN100, Chicago. Oswego is always a tradition-rich football program. Coming into this conference, we actually, back in 2014, they were our first playoff opponent ever. Coach Cooney has done a great job over there. Um, they're gonna be prepared. Uh, they always are. They're a physical football team. Um, they do things the right way. Anytime you play a Coach Aubrey team, you don't take anyone lightly. You're gonna have to prepare for your best. They're gonna be both offensively and defensively, hard charging and aggressive on what they do. Our defensive line has to play well. Um, and our, our middle backers have to step up and, um, and, and fill our gaps, fill our run gaps. And if we do that, um, we can do some good things defensively. Offensively, I think we've got to lay a pad on a pad. They are, they are fast on defense. They are big and physical. We're going to have to stay true to who we are offensively. And if that means that we see opportunities to ground and pound the ball, then that's what we'll do. If we see opportunities in the pass game, we'll, we'll try to exploit those. But they are an aggressive defense or a hard-charging physical defense. Um, so we've got our work cut out for us. A Saturday game day um, is always, I feel like it's a college atmosphere. You know, our kids are, are ready to go and it's going to be an exciting atmosphere. Welcome to Joliet, everybody, for the CN100 Game of the Week. Today we have a Southwest Prairie Conference battle as the Panthers from Oswego at 2-0 take on the 1-1 Joliet West Tigers. Hello everybody, I'm Jim Blaney along with Jack McInerney and it's a new conference in the Southwest Prairie. They added Joliet West and Joliet Central for 10 teams. So the teams in the league only play conference games, Jack. Oswego, they've been dominant in the conference over the years. They're off to a 2-0 start again. Well, they're off to 2-0 start. Their strength over all the years has been defense. They've always played exceptionally good defense against anybody and everybody they play. And that's gonna be the rule again today. They're gonna to have to do really well on defense to stop Joliet West. For Joliet West, they have been a program on the rise over the last few years. Two years ago, they had their first ever trip to the state playoffs. They think this team is just as good. Well, you know, they get a lot of extra coaching. The quarterback is the son of the head coach. So he gets a lot of tutoring at home. They're going to throw the ball all over the field today, but Jim, one of the factors is going to be the wind. We got a very heavy wind today, and that could be a dramatic difference in the passing game for Joliet West. Third down, 15. Three receivers left for Oswego. Olson looks right, comes back to the left, wants to go over the middle, fires, has a man open. Now can the run after the catch get the first down? Yes, out of bounds, just inside the 40-yard line. Elliott Pipkin with the grab. And for the first time today, a team makes a trip into the opposite team's territory. Big pickup of 26 yards on third down. Good job right here by Olsen. He looks away, pump fakes to one receiver, and then comes back to the other receiver who settled down Pipkin in the slot. He picks up a big first down and good yardage into Joliet West territory. Olsen using up as much time as he can, drops back the throw, goes down the left sideline, has Pipkin, what a catch! And he's trying to get away but cannot, but he's into Joliet West territory at the 41-yard line. Pipkin with an amazing catch, Justin Painter had good coverage, but Pipkin just went up and got it. What a nice throw by Levi Olsen right here, puts the ball right on the money, but just a better catch, reaching up over the defender. Good job of the offensive line, as you can see, giving him enough time to get the ball down the field. That's a picture-perfect catch right there. Go up and use your hands. Don't catch it in your body. Excellent throwing catch. Aubrey gets rid of it, quickly has Holman open. He makes the grab, his feet are inbounds, and he's taken out at the 11-yard line. Well, you know, Jack, we see this a lot, where all of a sudden when you have to go to the hurry up and you're gonna throw it all the time, you can get a little bit of an advantage because you take away a little bit of doubt, you just go and you play football. Well, what he's doing here is he's got man coverage underneath, and you can see he didn't get over on him. Not a real good job of covering his defender, and he, he knows it right away. That's why he gets the football up here. Joliet West showing blitz again. Here they come right up the middle. Nice pickup by Mara. 
gives Olsen some time. This one is picked off. Second time the charm for Drew Smith. Takes it inside the Oswego 40 to the 36 yard line. Mara did a great job of picking up the blitz, but the throw had to come out early and it results in a pick. As he starts sliding to his left right now, he can't get his body turned completely around. Throws it right into coverage. Good job right there by the linebacker getting underneath it. Aubrey again has Tullock in the backfield to help provide some extra protection. Second down and 13. Aubrey fires, tipped and intercepted. Oswego gets it right back. Matt Maruno with the pick. He returns it to the 43 yard line. Six and a half minutes remaining. Second turnover in as many possessions for the Oswego defense. Any ball that's thrown between the hash marks that's underneath the safety can't be tipped because what's going to happen is it's going to be picked off. This will happen at any level. On Sundays, college football, pro football, they always tell you, in between the hash marks and right in between the linebackers, you always have a safety back there if it's tipped. You want to throw it lower and not higher. To view this exclusive Xfinity TV programming in its entirety, check the CN100 schedule for a list of airtimes or view this program anytime on demand by selecting Get Local and choosing CN100.